Hey, this is Vance Yoakum, your fiscal ranger here in Lake County, Florida. I'm making a quick demonstration video of a actual example of a cloned Facebook page, and I'm going to show you what to do about it. Uh, and so the first uh, clue is that you get a request from somebody to like you, and they look familiar, and uh, I just did click on one, and said uh, yes because it said uh, somebody else is a friend and after I did that then all of a sudden I realized it said uh, uh, that she only had three friends and so I went and looked and the first thing you do when that happens or if you're suspicious is that you just do a search on that person's name and you'll either find one legitimate account in Facebook or you're gonna find two of them and one of them will have a history and have a lot of friends and everybody else and the other one will have hardly anything okay and hackers uh, and I'm not going to use the word hackers cloners or scam artists uh, because hacking indicates that somebody actually got your password and is in your actual profile and your account but this is not the case almost all of these are cloned accounts and <clears throat> they because Facebook allows you to create uh, more than one account with the same name and so it allows everybody so you can do a search and you can find five Harry Smiths for instance and they're all legitimate and different um, and people do confuse them if uh, the picture is not unique uh, and sometimes they click the wrong one uh, when they're posting a message or something but anyway going on to the cloning I'm going to show you then on the screen uh, what happens. All right, here we have a person, Patty Wood, and she has two accounts. That's where I found out that, yep, sure enough. And the one on the top, you'll notice it just says friends since March. That's because I clicked friends. I added her as a friend. And you'll notice it only has one mutual friend and two other people, and that's it. Now, the other one here, it has details. It has the college, it's uh, 32 mutual friends, and if you click it, you would find all sorts of information, and that's your actual friend. So let's go to this one that says Patty Wood, and you'll see that they duplicated uh, just the main photo here. And they got one mutual friend who I'm going to notify that uh, she, you know, signed up for it. It only shows three friends. And if you go into the About page, you'll see that there's nothing there. Typically, and just the friends, one photo, that's it. The people that do this are really lazy. They don't even copy a lot of photos. Uh, you'll see uh, here. Now, this is interesting. Following. Uh, so... They were, I don't know whether they just checked a lot of other people to follow, hoping that those people then would come back. Um, but they all say they're friends with Patty Wood. Uh, several of them. So what they did is that they set this up to follow those people, and then hopefully those people are going to then come back and friend this one. So see all these people? And it says, see all. So I click that, and we should find more nope so there's there's only those amount of people here I apologize to Patty for doing this but somebody has to be a sacrificial guinea pig uh, and this is all helpful so that's the account so now what do we do about it okay so we go over here and it says see the three little dots right there click on that and it says report now you can just block them but I'm gonna report them okay and it says what would you like to do and I'm going to say uh, report this profile. Okay, make sure you don't say close this account. Well, you could, but it's not yours. Okay, and what's going on? They're pretending uh, to be me or someone I know. That's the one that you check. Okay, and or I can say this is a fake account. That's the one I use because that is a fake account. Okay, and then just click continue. And now it'll say submit to Facebook for review. I don't want to block Patty. Uh, I mean, that only blocks it for me, but it doesn't help 
get rid of this clone so what you do is you hit submit to Facebook for a review and it says you've submitted a report and I can see the status of my report in the support box and so that's it and then you just click done okay and I click how could it be better it's all fine so I just hit submit okay and it says thank you for the feedback all right now normally what happens is later I will get a uh, message back so that's the tip you do that to get away with now I probably within a day I will get a message back from Facebook they will have investigated it. they might even do it within one hour and they will shut off that clone and they will send me a thank you note I've gotten several of those uh, and they show up in uh, I think notifications uh, or messages so anyway that's what you do uh, now the other thing is that uh, if you want more details on this you can go to my fact sheet that I wrote on Facebook hacking and cloning and the address is right there it's http forward slash forward slash tiny url dot com forward slash facebook cloning and you go there and i've written up uh... all this information i'm going to add this video in there so that we've got it uh, people need to be aware don't call it a hacked account it was a cloned account and this is how you handle it and with that i'm signing out this is your fiscal ranger goodbye